Hello YouTube, Sam here from youtube.com slash onlivegamer for the new Boston and in this tutorial we're going to be working more on the truck class and then we're going to start building the interface for our program and adding more to it. So let's go ahead and um, add one more thing that we're going to be that we're going to need for our truck class. So we'll just add a function that gives the information about the truck. So Let's come up here to our car class and let's find the to string function that has been overridden. So you can see here we've got uh, name, color, uh, number of doors, and speed. So we'll go ahead and copy that because we're going to use that as the base for our uh, get information. Now you may be thinking we could just use the to string and then add stuff to that. Well, we're going to be adding stuff in between those values, so that won't be very practical. So we'll type public function get truck info as string. So it's going to be returning a string. So we're just going to return the name, the color, the number of doors, and in between here, let's go ahead and add uh, the cab size. So and then we will add um, truck cab length so then we'll add the uh, bed length so we'll just type bed length and then we will add um, the length value so truck bed length and now we will add uh, just the number of doors so we're going to need a new line in between each one of these. So environment dot new line, and then we'll add this string right here, and then one more new line, uh, right here. So environment dot new line. Okay. So. Now that we have everything we need for the truck class, let's go ahead and minimize that. And you can see that I've organized all the code in here. We've got the car super class. Now the super class is the main class that all of these inherit from. Sports car, truck, and then our two enumerations. So we'll come back here uh, into form1.vb. We'll zoom in some. So let's go ahead and go to the designer and we'll just add a list box that will hold all of our um, car or truck or sports car objects so list box right here we'll make it a little bit bigger and we'll um, shrink it we'll bring it down like that now let's go ahead and bring it down a little bit more and we're going to add a, another button so we'll come back to our toolbox we'll click button or we'll add button one and we'll set the text to new car and then we'll set the name to button create car now we're not going to be using that right now uh, but we will um, later on so we'll come back to form1.vb and now what we're going to need is a an array list that's going to hold all of our car objects now we are going to use an array list because we don't know how many objects the user is going to be adding to the list box. So we will type private um, cars as new array list. Okay, so whenever our form loads, let's just go ahead and um, add these two objects right here to our array list. So we'll just type cars.add and the, we'll, then we'll add default car and we will add the default sports car okay so now that we have these two cars in our array list let's go ahead and um, add all those items to our form one or to our list box now let's go ahead and rename the list box right here so we'll just call it list cars and we'll come back in here and we'll create a 
sub that will do this for us. So we'll, we'll type private sub add all cars and this is just going to run once um, when the form one loads. So what we're going to do is add all cars. So we'll type for each car as and then we want to do it of type we'll do it of type all cars dot car so you can see that we can use polymorphism in this um, in this uh, for each loop right here because we can pass a car object we can use car objects in this but um, we can also use sports cars and trucks so hold on let's type this again um, In. So our array list that we're going to use for this is cars. So for each car as all cars dot car in cars, uh, that might be a little confusing, but we're just going to go ahead and add that to the uh, list box right here. Now as I was saying, we're going to use polymorphism for this because we can treat sports cars and trucks as a car because they inherit from it. Um, so we don't have to do a specific type in here. So we'll just type list cars dot items dot add. And then we're just going to add car dot car name. So this is going to add our car name to the list box. So let's go ahead and run this. And it looks like we're getting an error here. So we got int speed is not accessible. So we're just going to have to make that, uh, let's see here, we're going to have to use this property right here. So we can just go ahead and instead of typing int speed, we'll just type speed. So we're accessing the speed property and not the variable itself. Okay, so now let's run this again and see if we get the desired output. Um, looks like we're gonna have to call that sub. So we'll just type add all cars. Okay, so now it should work. But before it, we'll be able to print out uh, the car name of our default car and our default sports car, we're going to have to actually set the name or it's going to be printing out a uh, null object inside of our list box and it, you won't actually see it. So we'll set the first one to, uh, we'll do a Honda CRV. And then for the sports car, we will just call it uh, Mustang GT. So Mustang GT right there. Okay, so now if everything runs right, hopefully we get each car um, inside of our list box. Now, we can actually um, show the information of each one of these different cars, but we'll be doing that in the next tutorial. As you can see, if I select CRV, it gives us the Mustang GT info, and that's not exactly what we want. So Go ahead, put this code in if you haven't already, and then once you've done that, go ahead and move on to the next tutorial.